How you doing folks? Jeff from RB Diagnostics. Let me put you on pause real quick. I, well, I gotta get knee pads. All right, so we're gonna talk about some RVs. It don't matter if it's A, B, or C, but it's something with a gas engine or a diesel engine. Um, you have the ability, while you're driving down a road using the engine alternator, as a source of power, one, of course it's gonna charge your chassis batteries, right? Whether gas or diesel, that's your engine batteries. And the other is some of them have the ability, or you can add it, you know, after you watch this video, to charge your house batteries while you're driving down the road. Now, a lot of you don't realize that you have it and it ain't working. It's the most common thing to go because you drive an hour or two and you get to your campground set up and then you hook up your 120 and the converter slash inverter combination unit charges your house batteries. So, but those that drive a long distance and, you know, sometimes people in the back are reading books or whatever and blah, 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 you know. So, and that kills the house batteries. All right, so I'm going to show you something here. It's a bird relay, all right, and bi-directional, I know, B-D, bi-directional, but that's one word. And it's a isolator, because that's what it does. It isolates the house batteries from the engine batteries, all right, or the coach batteries, coach slash house from the engine batteries. And it's a bi-directional isolator relay delay, okay, and I'm going to show you where it's at. And it uses a big boy relay, most of them. You don't have to buy that big boy, but I'll do it. Now, this one happens to be intermittently working. All right, so we get the 120 wire out of the way. So it's ignition, all right? And of course, there's a ground, and there's the solenoid and the coach battery. Well, that's the sense wire for the coach battery. The ignition is the B plus to the module, and then, of course, the ground is the ground, okay? Now, this one goes over, you follow these wires out, right? Okay, and you go, hey, right there, here's that big, big boy relay right there, see? Well, I know that this one is controlled by this right here. Now, how do we know this is not working? I'm gonna put you on pause, okay? Now, I just happen to be in the C Alpha, okay? So, I'm going to show you something. It doesn't matter what coach this is. So, these are the inverter batteries. These are the house batteries. And you can see they're down to 9.5, 9.8 volts. All right. Now, it's not hooked up to 120 or anything. Now, this is the shore generator AC volts and shore generator. All right, leg one, leg two. This is a pretty neat setup, old analog gauges. This is a 2005. All right, but that, we're gonna get in the way point is the switch signals down here. Okay, when I turn that on, that wire down there should get an ignition switch. When first, you wanna check it with the key out. Okay, remember that? Key out, engine off. K-O-E-O. -E -O. It's just terms that we learn. Okay, put you on pause, don't waste time. Okay, so what I did, I pull these off, all right, and I check them. I pull right here, all right, make sure that crimp's holding. I twist it and pull it, and if it holds, I got a pretty good connection. I look down there, see if I see any corrosion, right? I don't. Now, I make sure that this is working. Later on, we'll discuss what these are right here. They're real neat. You can put them on your coach or your system. All right, so we have... We, well, we're proving that the test instrument will work. This is a test light, but low and imp high impedance. It won't do a lot of damage. And you can tell it's old. It's cracked up. It's a snap on. All right, so one, I'll hook it right there to the ignition switch signal. It's a green wire. All right, so go up and you're right. I'm going to turn on the ignition switch. I'm going to put it on pause to save time. All right, here we are. Let's see how I get it out of the way. It says 11.5, if you can see it, all right? So, the ignition switch signal is getting in there. It's not intermittently dropping out. Now we move to the next thing. We're going to turn it off. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we'll put this wire back on. Okay. It's up under there. Here, I'll 
show you. I can go through here. This has two inverters, a little 400 watt one. But see, so right back here, I can see right now. I can put it on. All right. This even has a generator input. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that later. All right. You can do all kinds of things with these. Now, the other one is. We're going to make sure the coach battery is being seen because we could have a problem with that wire. All right? Coach battery. Take it off. Do the same thing again. Pull it. Twist it. All right? Pull it. Look for corrosion. Everything's looking good. Put you, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to check for voltage and put you on pause. Okay. So they're 12.9. All right. So. Coach battery is 12.9. It's getting there. That's pretty good. And it's not hooked up to 120 or nothing, so put you on pause. So we proved that that signal's getting in there. All right, so we checked all that. Our ground was good. The solenoid wire, this is an output. All right, that goes over to this right here. And it turns that big boy relay on. And remember, that's a big boy. That's why they call it a big boy. There's a part number, 77. 90006-120 ignition protected all right but i'll tell you what uh, for those out there and there's the other one that would be the chassis or engine one i'm sorry all right but this has pretty unique all right remember i said it has two inverters well check this out this is a c alpha 2005 gold all right so Count how many batteries it's got. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two are exclusive for the generator and four are for the house. Now, that's a pretty good system, folks. Plus, there's two batteries in the pack. So this thing's got eight batteries. It's got six golf cart batteries, all right? Two are for the generator, four are for the house, all right? And they're in series and parallel. Two six volt equals twelve. Excuse me. And then it has two private engine batteries back back there. All right. This is a C Alpha forty foot diesel pusher. Uh, it has a very deep slide. But let's get back with the when we do this and start it up going down the road. This thing um, just intermittently messes up. So I'm going to most likely blame that little control module. But usually I change a relay with it. I've checked the wire. So here we go. We're going to start this bad boy up. We're going to see what them signals do. And I got my exhaust hose hooked up back here. Put you on pause and get her started. Let's see real quick. All right. House batteries. House batteries are 10.9. And... Inverter batteries are almost 12.9. Okay, so here we go. And then this little thing right here will tell you it'll idle up if it's just too low of a voltage. So, here we go. Wait. There's the Xantrex. Remote control starting for the generator when it gets a low voltage. It's, it says the batteries are full for the generator. Remember, there's generator batteries, two of them. There's house batteries, four of them six volts, two generator six volt batteries, and two 12 volt batteries in parallel for the engine. All right, up, oh, see? It went to auto idle. It's 13.7. House batteries. Give it a while to come up. All right. I use it. Uh, I usually let it run a good 10 minutes, so I'm not going to sit here and let you do that. All right. So I'll put you on pause. Okay. Now it has decided to work again. All right. It'll drop on and off. House batteries, 12.9. All right. It's going to charge them up for a while. So. It automatically goes on and off. Depends what the load is. Put you on hold or pause. I'm going to go back and check some of them signals. All right. All right. Of course, we got the ignition. But 
I want to see what it's getting on the, the solenoid driver. All right. So that's the ground right there. B plus activate signal is right back here. So a little bit hard for you to see. Alright. It is. That's a tough, tough one to get. We're gonna have to go through the wires, folks. Put you on pause. Alright, folks. We hooked up to the solenoid driver. Notice it's a pretty thick wire. The red one there. Bed of nails, good old bed of nails. Uh, I made a video on how to make them. We're getting 3.2 volts to it. Not enough to keep that thing activated. All right. So now I'm gonna show you something unique about this. This I'm not gonna turn it on now because the engine's running. But if you see up there, it says chassis normally open. This is a blade switch. And what it does, it bypasses that relay, enabling you to charge. Not a bad idea to put on your coach if you're having problems. But you gotta remember, when you activate this, put it on, close it in there, you're also gonna drain your house battery and your engine battery, because that's what it's tied to right now, the engine alternator. All right, so you don't wanna do that. There's your inverter batteries, remember? It depends on these two big bird relays. Right, or big boy relays and then this one controls it it says okay I'm getting ignition in right we tested that I'm getting coach battery right all right let me look at that now we put it on pause look at that coach battery house batteries 12.3 with the engine running remember that thing ain't oh, the, the big orange the big red wire selling the way out was a 3.2 driver that I didn't even hear these relays click back here. And it's seeing 12.3. So what we'll do, I'll show you something. I'll take a chance. We'll just hook it up. All right, watch this. See, it bypassed that relay. These are nice to put in, but you got to make sure you know what you're doing. You just go to them big bird relays and put another cable on. See it right there? All right, and then, it, and then this one goes to the other side right there all right so i'll show you in the wire there right now the house batteries are charging okay she's going to be at a high idle because she's under a load hey okay, look at that house batteries 13.2 12.9 down there so we got some voltage drop but not much 13.2 12.9 12 9 one we've got 300 millivolt drops so probably got a little that's, that's acceptable because each big heavy connector is worth 200 millivolt drop, 0.2. All right, so this video went a little bit longer than I'm going to do. I'll make a part two. So this is on a bi-directional isolator relay um, for a diesel, or you can make it for a gas, all right, bird system. And uh, a couple of manufacturers make them, all right. That's Intellitech, right there. Intellitech, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this video down because it went beyond the 10 minute span I like, but thank you very much. What's the motto? Test not guess. Safe travels, maybe you can't fire a burn right till we meet on the road. It might be at the fuel station. Uh, might be driving down a road, might be at a campsite. Heck, or at your house. I've been invited to people's houses. As long as you got 50 amps, I'm good to go. Maybe 30. Thank you very much.